Hey guys, Andrea here from Nuts and Bolts Media. Today I'm going to walk you through how to use the inspector in Chrome to make customizations to your Genesis Child theme. As you can see, I've got the uh, sample child theme pulled up on a test site. And I'm just going to show you very quickly how you can use inspector to change the color of the navigation menu. As you can see right now, it's a very dark gray, almost a black. And let's say you don't like that and you want to change it to teal, which is my favorite color, so that's what I'm going to use. To use Inspector, all you need to do is hover your mouse over the element on the page that you want to change. So in this case, I've got my mouse over the nav bar. I'm going to right click and I'm going to look at the bottom of the menu that pops up and choose Inspect Element. When I do that, I get this pop up at the bottom that shows me the HTML on the page on the left and then the CSS on the right. So right now it's showing me the menu. And then I've also got the wrap and nav primary which is what I'm going to be changing. So if I click there then over on the right I see the things in my style sheet that apply to that particular area and if I change them over here I can get a preview of how they're going to look if I change them in the style sheet itself. So right now the nav primary background color is set to this dark color and if I just click on it I can change it to 017172 and I see it right there live on the site. So that's the color that I like, that's the one that I want. Now what do I do? If I go over to my editor in my WordPress dashboard, I can click inside the box and do Command F, or if you use a PC, it's Control F, and search for Nav Primary. And there it is, that's the same rule. If I look back, I was looking at background color and it used to be pound sign 333. And there it is, so I'm just going to change that to 017172 like I did before and click update file. Now if I go back to my site and close out of inspector and refresh, you can see that that change is now there permanently. Now let's say that I look at this and I think, well, now that I've made this a different color, the nav menu items are kind of gray and I don't really see them very well. So we can hover over one of those and do inspect element. And I'm looking at the home menu item. And over here, I've got a rule that says that any links on the Genesis nav menu are going to be this color. So let's see what happens if I change this to, let's do FE, FE, FE and that makes them basically white. Okay, well, I, I like the way that that looks a little better. So now I'm gonna go back to my style sheet and I've already forgotten what I was changing, which happens a lot, so I go back and I'm looking for Genesis Nav Menu A. So I'm just going to, whoop, that noise told me I was looking for something that's not there. Okay, and just typing in Genesis, I see Genesis Nav Menu A right here. There's the color that we changed, so I'm going to make it FE, FE, FE like before. Update my file. And if I refresh, it's there permanently. Now I don't have any color change, or at least not one that you can see when I hover. So I'm going to go back to my style sheet. It, it's difficult to get a change to show up hovering on a link. Sometimes you just have to look. And the great thing about Genesis is that things are usually ordered in a way that makes sense. So if I look close to what I just changed, I should be able to find Genesis Nav Menu A Hover, which is Link Hover. And it tells me that on Hover, the color is 333, which is not the case anymore. So we probably need to look for nav primary again. Yes. And see here we have the nav primary A hover, which is set to be white. And I'm going to change that to, oh, let's find a color. 
sure we'll do this green since it's already up I'm gonna copy that hex code paste it right here update my file and then when I go back and hover over each menu item they turn green so that's just a very quick overview of how you can use Chrome's inspector to find things that you want to change you can use this on literally anything that you can see on your site and it's just a quick way to find the right CSS rules to change instead of scrolling through that big long style sheet and trying to find them on your own this is probably the easiest way to find things that you want to change if you have any questions about that feel free to comment on this video or leave a comment on the blog post on the site see you guys later